Hey guys, down here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Yes, back to Pokemon Go. Sorry it's been so long, but today I have something very special for you because over the past few days, I've been playing something I like to call Blind Pokemon Go. Wait, is, that, is there a Pikachu around here? No? No, 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 nothing like that, jeez. It's been using this, the brand new Pokemon Go Plus, which by the way, I actually have one spare to give away. So stick around until the end of the video to find out how you can win one of these. So yeah, I've been using this a lot recently because it's a cool little gadget made by Nintendo that can allow you to play Pokemon Go without actually looking at your phone. And I know what you're thinking. How? Well, this little device allows you to catch wild Pokemon, catch brands new wild Pokemon, and also collect Pokestops without looking at your device, which is perfect. So I thought I would do my very own challenge inside Pokemon Go using the Pokemon Go Plus accessory because I've been to London and Manchester over the past couple of days and I played Pokemon Go without looking at my phone whatsoever. So I collected Pokestops, I made my egg steps go up, which is something this device can also do. And I also caught loads of Pokemon without looking at my screen. And this is where the blind bit comes in. So because I'm not looking at my screen, I have no idea which Pokemon I picked up, what items I picked up. I'm pretty sure I leveled up without looking as well, which is awesome. So today, we're going to look through my recent Pokemon captured list to see what Pokemon I actually captured. But we're also going to look through my journal because it also shows which Pokemon ran away because this is not a surefire way to catch Pokemon every time they flee they flee a lot and there's also 100% a 10k egg hatch in here somewhere so without further ado let's do this but first I guess I can show you how the Pokemon Go Plus actually works so I tap on this little icon here it says finding Go Plus I click the button on the device and it will immediately link to my phone via Bluetooth, which is amazing. And you can use the Pokemon Go Plus while the app is not physically on your screen, so it doesn't need to be on your screen like this. It can be minimized, but as long as it's open, you can use the Pokemon Go Plus. And hopefully, it will allow me to catch this Pidgey now. So here we go, the Pokemon is in range, and you can see that the Pokemon Go Plus has kind of linked to the Pidgey, and this green light here means that you have encountered a Pokemon that you already have in your Pokedex. So let's click it real quick and look very closely it goes white for every bubble of the pokeball and then goes either multicolored like this if you've captured it or it flashes red if the pokemon has run away which is awesome and i guess the only downside to this which makes this blind pokemon go challenge even riskier is it only uses pokeballs no ultra balls no great balls no raspberries just pokeballs so this this is some risky business, and I've had probably about a 50-50 success rate of catching Pokemon and not. So let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, and when you go past the Pokestop, this also flashes blue. So you look out for green if it's a Pokemon you have caught, orange if it's a Pokemon that's not in your Pokedex yet, and blue if you're going to collect a Pokestop. That's pretty much the Pokemon Go Plus. Right, let's dive in and see my recent Pokemon. So I am going to cover it up so I only see one row at a time. So here we go. And I'm going to cover it up for you guys so that you're seeing what I'm seeing. So it's already pre-sorted onto the recent Pokemon. And before I started, I had less than 200 Pokemon. So I have definitely caught over 100 Pokemon without looking at my phone in two separate major city locations in the UK. So first row, we have the Pidgey we just caught, which is a 233 CP, which isn't bad. We've got a Rattata and a Weedle as well, which I was expecting. I've also got loads of eggs as well. Let's check those out first and see which ones we've got. So we've got a 55555, five, 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 which are all in incubators and almost ready to hatch. And all of them are fives, apart from one 2k egg. But as I mentioned, hidden in this Pokemon list is a 10k egg hatch. And also, a Venonat's just popped up. Let's see if we can capture it with the Pokemon Go Plus this time. I can show you the lights a little bit closer. So here we go. A little vibrate and the green light is flashing. Let's press it and see what happens. So we've got one, two, three, and... Oh, it ran away. Did you see that? It flashed red, which means the Pokemon ran away. Thanks, Venonat. 
really appreciate that. But enough of that, and now back onto my mystery Pokemon. So the first row has been done. The next row is a Caterpie, a Spearow, and a Drowsy. That Drowsy is not bad whatsoever. We might be able to evolve that today. Next up, we have a Spearow, a Magikarp, and another Drowsy. So I'm expecting lots of Pidgeys, lots of Rattatars, and lots of Drowsies as well. Right, next row is a Goldeen, a Horsey, and a Goldeen. Those aren't too bad. Next... Ghastly, a CP10 Ghastly, my goodness, a Weedle and a Rattata. Now, where this is going to get even more interesting is not only do we have the 10k egg hatch in here, but I'm going to look through my journal and see what ran away from me. So that could be really painful. Right, next row, another Drowsy, a Rattata and a Horsey. This is good, so I'm getting a lot of Horsey candy, which I definitely needed. Next up, Pidgey, Rattata, and Drowsy. Another Drowsy, geez, so many Drowsies. We also have a 949 Jinx. That, that is pretty good. <laughs> that has got to be a crazy capture with just a Pokeball. That's insane. A 564 Drowsy as well, and a Spiro. Psyduck, very cool. I need, I think I can get a Golduck today. A Rattata and a Krabby, nice. I think I can get my Kingler that I was supposed to evolve in the previous episode. We've also got a Drowsy, a Pidgey, and a Paris. Next up, Drowsy, Drowsy, Spiro, of course. Spiro, Magikarp, and Zubat. That's a pretty powerful Spiro, I think. Um, Drowsy, Spiro, Spiro. Look at all these crazy Spiros that we're catching. Um, oh, Poliwag, a Ponyta. Was that a capture or an egg? We'll have to check our journal. Oh, that is phenomenal. And a 530 Drowsy. Not bad. Oh, I'm so hyped about that Ponyta. That is amazing. An 848. So good. Then we have Zubat, Rattata, and Rattata. That's actually our first Zubat, I think. Rattata, Pidgey, and Drowsy. So lots of the same old, same old. What is next? A 506 Drowsy. Not too bad. Some literally terrible Pokemon. More terrible Pokemon. Lots of Pidgeys. Lots of Rattatars. Drowsies. <gasps> what? An Electabuzz! Oh my goodness, that has to be my 10k egg. Let's check that out a little bit closer. Oh, 1183 Electabuzz. And we've got so much Stardust as well. I've literally gained like 40,000 Stardust just by using the Pokemon Go Plus. We've got some candy to power that guy up as well. Let's power him up. Actually, let's do that afterwards. Let's check out the rest of our Pokemon. Right. A 558 Drowsy and a 472 Magnemite. Not too bad. Pidgey Pidgey Drowsy. Spearow Zubat Staryu. Staryu isn't bad. Um, and we've got an Oddish, a Rattata, an Omanyte. I know it was my last Pokemon before I went on my journey. So I can reveal it to myself. This is cool. This is really, really cool. There were two surprises. The Electabuzz, which was from an egg, and the Ponyta, which I have no idea whether it was from an egg or a capture. That was crazy. But now we must dive in to the journal. Right, let's go to our trainer. My buddy right now is Weeping Bell, by the way, if any of you are interested. And here we go. Let's go into the journal. So as you can see, Venonat ran away. I don't know how far this is going to go down. A Grimer! There was a Grimer! A 6, 7, 9 Grimer ran away from me yesterday. Oh, that is so annoying. Uh, 297 Ghastly. It shows the Pokestops that I've been getting as well. I've probably got tons of items now. Caterpie. Oddish ran away. I could have done with a candy on Oddish. Horsey I caught, which is good. Any other notable Pokemon? I don't know how far away this is going to go. A 564 Slowpoke ran away. Oh, that would have been my most powerful Slowpoke. Uh, Pidgey's Gloom! A 7.30 Gloom. Oh, this was in London because I can tell by the time. Oh, I ran away. Oh, I actually ran away. Okay, that's annoying. No. 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 I missed the Mime. A 7.05 Mr. Mime. Are you kidding me? A Mr. Mime. And if you guys don't know, Mr. Mime is the rarest Pokemon in the EU. It's one of the EU exclusives. You can't catch it in America. You cannot catch it in Asia. Only in Europe. And it ran away from me. It actually ran away from me. That's a 705 as well. Oh my goodness. Rattata, Shelda, got the Ghastly. That's good. The Shelda was pretty good. I could have done with the candy for that. And then we've gone down to Drowsy and Spiro. So the journal doesn't go down as far as I've been using it for because that's only quarter to 11, which is the second half of my London journey. So some of the ones that ran away, I will have no idea. But the Mr. Mime, the Mr. Mime. But to be honest, guys, it's not too much of an issue because... 
I have caught a Mr. Mime already. And here he is. He's only a 364. I could have had a 705. But check this guy out. I caught this guy in my office, literally sitting right here. I was talking to Justin or Think Noodles about Mr. Mime, how he was trying to catch one while he was over in Europe, and he couldn't get one. I cracked open my app while I was talking to him, and one literally spawned on my computer screen here. It was mad, but I could have had a 705. That's crazy. Right. Let's see what our most powerful Pokemon are at the moment. So Rayna is our most powerful via CP, 1192. Our Electabuzz, though, 1183. And I am going to start powering up. Actually, let's appraise this guy. Want me to check out your Electabuzz? Your Electabuzz looks like you can really battle with the best of them. Its best quality is its HP. Its attack is great, too. Really strong. Impressive. See ya. <laughs> That guy, right? Let's power up a little bit more. Let's see if we can get him to max because this guy is going to be our most powerful by far. And we have so many candy and stardust to be able to do this. Let's get him to max. I think he might be able to go one more. Yeah, one more. And he's at 13. 31. Now, by other people's Pokemon Go standards, that's not very good. But mine, that is awesome. Look, caught in London, England. As low kick, which is a fighting move, not great. But it also has thunder at 100. So it would be good if I had a weak lightning move. But I can't really complain. Rain is up next. Hypnos, Pidgeots. And that Jinx that we caught, was this in London? It was. Our Jinx actually was our sixth most powerful Pokemon. Right, I think I have some evolutions to do. Items as well must be really stocked up. We've got 93 Hyper Potions, 102 Revives, 4 Lucky Eggs, and 4 Incenses. 135 of both Pokeballs and Great Balls, and Ultra Balls as well. And so many Raspberries! Ah, oh, this is great. I'm gonna crack off a Lucky Egg real quick, just for these evolutions, just so I can gain some more experience. And I don't actually know, oh, we're only one away? from an evolution on Abra, that is annoying. I might evolve this Drowsy just for fun to see what it's going to evolve into because I have 160 Drowsy candy anyway. I want to see how powerful this Hypno comes out, but this blind Pokemon Go thing is actually really fun. And if I got an orange on my Pokemon Go Plus while I was playing blind Pokemon Go, that would be pretty terrifying. Right, how powerful is this Hypno? 1177. That's not bad. We'll do the CP at the end just to see which one's the best. Right, what else can I evolve? I've got a 490 Eevee, but I don't have enough candy for it yet. I'll be too short. Wow. Ghastly, I can evolve, but I'm kind of saving up for a Gengar right now, so I'm going to have to save that one. Okay, one that I can evolve is Krabby. So let's evolve Krabby into a Kingler and see how powerful this one comes out. This will also be a brand new Pokemon, so the Lucky Egg isn't going completely to waste. I honestly thought I had more evolutions, but let's see how this comes out. There we go. Registered. To the Pokedex. Oh, 1006. Okay, that's not too bad. That's definitely in our top six. Awesome. Look how powerful this guy is. Okay, here's something interesting. The Magnemite we can actually evolve because we've got 92 candy into a pretty powerful Magneton. But I'm going to save it until they release the next generations because Magneton can evolve into Magnezone. And hopefully by the time that comes out... I will be able to get a Magnezone straight away, which would be awesome. I've also got a Poliwag that I can evolve, which is a 439, but I do have a Poliwhirl already. And I think Poliwrath could be pretty powerful. So I'm going to save that one. But look at this, the Ponyta, an 848. That is going to be a beast of a Rapidash. But I need 34 more candy. <laughs> okay, this one I definitely know that I can evolve. Psyduck, let's do this. Here we go, Psyduck. Evolve into the most glorious Golduck you have ever seen. Then we'll appraise it. Probably should have done it the other way around, but that doesn't matter. Here he goes. Psyduck flying up into the air, and we get another brand new evolution. What's it gonna look like? Yes! That's so cool. What's its CP like? I don't know what its multiplier is like, but it started off as a 600, and it's turned into a 1323. Golduck, welcome to the team, buddy. He's got Water Gun and Ice Beam, which is awesome. Oh, that is powerful. Nice. This seal has potential. I am short by 14 candy. Uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. I need eight more candy or eight more seals to be able to evolve that, which is going to be awesome. I can't get my Cloister yet, which is really annoying because I had a Cloister run away from me. So frustrating. What about Slowpoke? Ooh. Slowpoke could be close. Yeah, I'm really close, but don't have enough just yet. I've got so many evolutions that are this 
close to being able to be done, which is going to be amazing. And I can actually give this Venonat a good old evolving and see what kind of Venomoth comes out. Let's see. Let's see, because our previous evolutions have actually been pretty good. There he is. Big old Venomoth. What CP are you, sir? 907. Not too bad. And finally, I'm not sure how good Zubats get, but I'm going to go ahead and evolve this, even though I think I've got a good Golbat already and kind of want to save it for Crobat when that comes out. I think that's going to be a long time, and I should have plenty of Zubat candy by then. So let's crack this guy open and see what kind of CP he's going to be. There we go, 1,079. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's give him a quick power up to max. He's going to be a powerful one, actually. I've got loads of Stardust to use, so let's keep powering up. He's going up by 27 each time. If I go up to maximum, he's going to be powerful. There you go, 12, 1, 4, right. Let's sort of buy combat power and see what our team, our main six, are looking like. In first, we have Electabuzz. Then Golduck is actually really, really high up there. That is awesome. Should I give him a cheeky power up as well? I have got the Stardust to spare. Will he beat Electabuzz with this final side up candy? He might do 1389. He is the most powerful. So Golduck reigning supreme, then Electabuzz, then Golbat, then Rainer, then two Hypnos. The double Hypnos coming at you. And I've got all these eggs to crack open as well. Still only ever had two 10k eggs, which is crazy. So now we've got to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you how you can win one of these. All you need to do is go into the description below and they'll be linked to a tweet that you need to both favorite and retweet to have the chance to win one of these Pokemon Go Plus where you can play blind Pokemon Go as well. It's tons of fun, but you could have Mr. Mimes run away from you. So yeah, I'm sorry I have to do it on Twitter, but it's just the easiest way to select a random winner. So go ahead, go in the description below. There'll be a tweet that you can favorite and retweet. And also massive thanks to Nintendo for hooking me up with an extra one and this one to be able to give away to you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a big fat thumbs up for more Pokemon Go. Because I'm off on tour still, I'm going to some really incredible places and I can still play blind Pokemon Go if you enjoyed it, of course. So yeah, let me know if you want to see some more blind Pokemon Go by leaving a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching. You are the best. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!